Bill, it is Made in America Week. We see uh, if you're taking the live picture of President Trump, Vice President Pence coming out to highlight Made in America products. But a very odd thing just happened in the White House briefing, which is that Sean Spicer, the White House press sec uh, secretary, in an audio but not video briefing, was asked the obvious question about Trump products, Ivanka Trump's and President Trump's products that have been made overseas. And he was asked how you could justify that in light of the Made in America emphasis. And what Sean Spicer said was, well, the demands of supply chains and scalability may require some products to be made overseas, that we may not have the capacity to do some things in this country, uh, and therefore it makes sense. Now, to state the obvious, that is exactly what Ford and Carrier and Walmart uh, and every other American company that has supply chains overseas, that does manufacturing overseas, argues about their products. It's also the argument that uh, companies make about immigrant labor. That is to say, uh, there aren't Americans willing to do that work. And the response from the Trump White House has been, well, raise wages enough uh, and people will be willing to do that work. So uh, uh, Sean Spicer is, is justifying practices for the Trump administration that the Trump administration does not accept from other multinational uh, companies, guys. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.